Welcome back to another edition of 60 Plus Seconds, Nature's Cold Weather Warriors. This video was requested by Trolling Bacon at Mind the Tree on Twitter. Arctic tundra animals do not enjoy the luxury of simply heading into thick forests to escape the biting wind. Instead, it is just them versus the vast expanses of treeless tundra. Some, like the caribou, do head south to enjoy those forests, at least part of the year that is. Animals in the tundra survive thanks to harboring multiple defenses against the paralyzing cold. So let's learn something new, shall we? The Gynophora, Grolandica, or the Arctic woolly bear moth. The Arctic woolly bear moth is a fairly nondescript looking small drab moth. It lives its whole life in the far north of the Arctic, on the mainland and northern islands of Canada, and around the vegetated coast strip of Greenland. These caterpillars spend most of their lives actually frozen, just thawing out for a short time in the summer. Over its lifetime, they will freeze and thaw several times. Like many other adult flying insects, the adult moths don't feed at all. Up next, we have the avibos, or the musk oxen. Musk oxen lives in the tundra regions of the high arctic. They are the grazing animals. More closely related to sheep and goats than oxen, their latin name avibus means literally sheep ox. The name musk ox comes from the strong scent emitted by males in the breeding season, though it's not actually musk. These furry buggers survive in some of the harshest places in the Arctic. They have a number of anatomical, behavioral, and physiological adaptations that allow them to do this successfully. They will literally dig through the ice and snow using their hooves as shovels to reach food. Next up, we have the Cucujus clavipes punices, flat red bark beetle. This North American beetle has a broad range that extends from North Carolina to the Arctic Circle. Accordingly, this little beetle has developed a serious ability to avoid freezing. Individuals can drop to temperatures as low as minus 72 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 58 degrees Celsius. And if you think that's cool, their larva can endure even more remarkable lows without freezing around minus 148 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 100 degrees Celsius. To achieve this, the bark beetle accumulates antifreeze proteins and a glycerol as sugary alcohol that's the basis for many antifreeze products in its tissues while reducing its metabolism and entering a state of dehydration in order to avoid a frozen rock solid state. Last up we have the wood frogs. Don't be fooled by the kindly eyes and half smiles. What you're looking at here are potential frozen zombies aka wood frogs. They are frighteningly well adapted to their chilly North American habitats. Wood frogs are among the animal's world's zombies. Halloween-y creatures that have evolved the ability to twitch back from the brink of death. Lab tests have shown wood frogs to survive being frozen nearly solid with up to 70% of the internal water turned to ice. During the thawing period, which takes about 7 hours, wood frogs hearts begin to beat again and normal movement returns within about a day scientists say. And that's a wrap for this edition of 60 plus seconds. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you again in the next episodes. If you have comments or questions or video requests, Leave them in the comment section below. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed yet and you like this video, click that subscribe and like button and show me some support. Thanks again, and have a nice day.